Right, today I'm going to be using the Studio Logic Sledge. This is an analog style synthesizer and I'll take you through it from left to right. Starting at the left we have a numeric keypad for accessing different sounds, the program sounds. Here we have a modulation section. I'll be going into all of these in much more detail as we go through the series of tutorials. Then we have an oscillator bank, oscillators 1, 2 and 3. Then we have a mixer section here, plus noise. We have a filter section, an amplifier section, and two effects. Today we're going to be looking at a sawtooth waveform and how to make that sawtooth really fat, sometimes called a super saw. So I find a really good starting point is to use the initial setting on the synthesizer, and that's over on the left. Now this gives us a very basic sound. Let's hear the sound. That consists of looking at oscillator 1, um, a pulse width waveform on each of the oscillators, 1, 2 and 3. Let's first of all um, isolate oscillator 1 by looking at the mixer section over here and we'll take out oscillators 2 and 3 and just focus on oscillator 1. So going from top to bottom we have a footages or octave section here which is um, it says 8 foot and then down to 64 foot and up to 1 foot. What that refers to is when I play middle C um, an organ pipe of 8 feet in length would produce this sound of middle C. I can then change the octave to, to a 16 foot pipe a 32 foot pipe and a 64 foot pipe I can then go right up to four foot, two foot, and one foot. We're going to stick with eight foot because that will give us middle C where I need it to be. The next one going down is a semitone um, control. So that goes up in semitones, up a whole octave, and down a whole octave. Let's set that to zero again so we know where middle C is. Um, the next knob is a wavetable but I'll be talking about that much later in the series and we'll look at the waveform that's on here which is a pulse waveform what we need to access is the sawtooth waveform so by pressing this button here we get to the sawtooth waveform and this sounds like this very buzzy now how do we make that sound a lot fatter well, on the Studio Logic Sledge, on this section, we have two effects uh, sections here. So we've got the chorus. And we've got depth and rate. Uh, then we've got a reverb section. So it adds a bit of depth to the sound already. Now, rather than using chorus, which kind of multiplies the sound and makes it fatter, of course we've got two other oscillators. So I'll switch out the chorus and access um, oscillator two. Now this is, we need this also to produce a sawtooth waveform, there we are. And again, it's got a, an octave switch, a semitone, um, switch and a detune. The detune gives a classic chorus effect. Now we can also alter the, the uh, footage or pitch of this to make it faster by taking down two octaves. On the third oscillator we now want this to, to be a 16 foot pitch but we also need the waveform to be um, a sawtooth waveform. And we can detune this slightly as well. So now we're getting a very fat um, sawtooth waveform, a super saw, if you will. Let's do a little tune. Mm -hmm. 